before we proceed to the concept of sending data to a view so far in these tutorials we have learned how to query a database how to add data how to remove data update data and display data we were querying database directly and sending a string to the client but in a very complicated web application we have views associated with the data the purpose is to display data on a view page so before we take talk about displaying data on a view page we'll take some concepts of models entity models and view models these are central to how do we take data to a view page so we'll see those concepts right now first of all i'm talking about what is a model we have done model so far a number of times so a model is a class just like you are seeing here c student data that holds related information related information we can say that it maps to a table in a database because as per the rdbms rules a table is supposed to contain related information related data a table will generally hold data for a entity single entity for example a student can be a single entity you store his name marks in maths marks in physics marks in chemistry his roll number so just like tables hold related data models are classes that contain properties that relate to an entity we can draw examples of models class c student data this class has a property public string name and don't forget this get set name is the property string is the data type and get set is used to make the property read write similarly you can have a property public int marks and the get set story a table can be mapped to a c sharp class called a model where should we place our models that generally model classes should be placed in a folder called models so all classes that you write to hold your data related data are called model classes and should be placed inside models folder it is recommended not compulsory now let me come to the concept of entity models the classes generated by your edm designer that map to database tables are called entity models so there is hardly any difference between models and entity models whereas models are classes written by you and entity models are classes that have been generated by the edm designer conceptually both are models 
and both of them hold data for a particular entity. But the only thin difference is that models are written by you and entity models are generated by the designer. And related to this concept is a concept of view models. View models are mixture classes. I would say mixture classes. That is they are able to send unrelated data. Suppose I have a class called X and inside it I have a property called public string name. There's get set. It also contains a public property called public list list of any int name has no relation to this list of int you are putting heterogeneous data into one class x you can put entire okay i'll write it more clearly you have put name, you have put list of int, you have put C student data object also, you have put a list of C student data, so any classes that contain heterogeneous information, they will be called view models. Now why this name view models? Basically model is used to send data to a view. You package your data into model and send it to the view. But generally a view or a web page consists of stock quotes this side. It consists of weather here. It might consist some tabular data related to let us say news. When your action method will send data to this page, it can't send a model for news. It has to send for stock also, data for feather also and these three are unrelated to each other. So when you want to send a lot of data to a page which is totally unrelated also, then you use view model. View model can be said to be a model for a view. Different developers have different definitions for view model, but the definition we'll be using is that it represents a class that can hold unrelated heterogeneous data. Had, if I have a web page that shows only news, nothing else, then I would better send a model into this. I would send a model into this page, model modeled by a C-sharp class called CNews and consisting of related and data like headlines, minor news or major headline or whatever you want to say. I would use a model and if I'm querying a database and from the database I'm sending data to this page, then I would use, then I would use entity model to pass data for the news item into this page. After all, entity model also represents a single entity. This model might be a class written by me and entity model is a class generated by the designer. 
So I can use either entity model depending on if the data is coming from database or a model if the data is coming from something that has been generated by me and I'm creating objects manually. And in case I want to send a mixture about weather, about stock quotes on the same page or data about advertisements. Then I have to use, I can't use model alone, I can't use entity model alone. I'll have to use a view model to pass so much data into that page. So with that we close right now. As far as the theory is concerned, we can examine that this, uh, in this uh, screen that you are seeing, this class resides inside models folder. In this screen you are seeing a view model class. We see view model X. It contains a student. It contains a TBL doctor object entity model. And it contains a unique date time object. This is called a view model. In this case I have placed view model inside models folder but we recommend that it should be placed under view models folder. You should create a separate folder called view models and place your view models into that for readability. We shall be placing our view models into view models folder, models into models folder and entity models we shall create a separate folder for that and right click to add data to it, to add uh, ORM generated models to it. So that's the recommended practice, although no hard and fast rules occur. The only purpose is to organize the code so that it is readable and maintainable. So we'll close it right now. Thanks.